I am Johnny Rain and I'm the Minister of Pontryn Baptist Church in Cumbran. Hi, I'm Laura. I'm a schools worker with Ice Wales covering the South East Wales region. Hi, I'm Jonathan Greaves. I'm a schools worker here in Monmouth and a church leader at Monmouth Baptist Church. Hi, I'm Danny Hoskin and I'm a youth and community worker from Wysham Christian Fellowship. So today we're going to think about resilience. What does resilience mean? Consulting Mr Google, he says, uh, resilience is the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties or toughness. Which one of these three do you think will have the greatest resilience in the face of an attack? So how do we cope when things go wrong, uh, if the circumstances around us are hard? Do we stay strong? Do we muddle along or spectacularly sink? You'll have heard of Nelson Mandela. He was a famous campaigner for racial equality in South Africa. Uh, he was imprisoned, uh, but later released and became the president there. Well, one of his famous quotes says, do not judge me by my successes, but judge me by how many times I fell down and got back up again. I'm gonna put a question up on the screen. You can pause the film and discuss it as a group or let it run and give yourself a minute to think in quiet about what you might give as an answer. In our assemblies, we always share a story and today it's one of the parables. Here it is, it's in animated form. So Jesus told a simple story about two builders. One of them sank in the storm, but the other one stood firm. It's not about sinking and then getting back up again, but it's about being resilient enough to stand in the first place. Some people say that prevention is better than cure. In the video that we saw, the key is actually right at the beginning, where there's a picture carved into the tree. See, the house that fell down didn't really need to. It did so because the builder had ignored the instructions and hadn't built the foundation that would make his house resilient. It's a picture of what our lives can be like. Our resilience will depend on what foundations we build on in our own lives. Somebody has drawn this picture of a resilience tree. It's a metaphor. 
They've labelled some of the bursts of wind, the things they find challenging, that threaten to break them. They've also labelled the things that give them strong roots um, to make them resilient and stop them falling in a storm. Family, friends, their safe places, their hobbies. So my question is, you've got a blank tree. How would you label your roots? What are the things that make you strong to cope? Mine would be sleep, make sure somebody says sleep, space of my own, and the spiritual hope and understanding that I have. But what's yours? If we get our foundations right, then we can be resilient when the storms come our way. There might be other things that you have in your life that help you to face the struggles. But for us, faith lays the real foundation, and that's why Jesus is worth looking into. I'm going to say a prayer. Use this opportunity to talk to God, or just be quiet and thoughtful. Father God, we thank you for this story of Jesus that helps us think about the foundations upon which we build our lives. We thank you, Lord, that you care about each one of us, and we pray for your blessing upon our day. We thank you for all who care for us and teach us, and we ask, Lord, that you'll help us to take this story with us into the storms of life that we face. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for your time today. We really hope there was something that might have made you think or helped a little bit. And we really hope that we'll get to see you in person sometime soon. Take care.